Hi, everybody. Um, today we're doing a St. Patrick's Day favor box. It's all cut out and you have pipe cleaners and there's some styrofoam inside. And this uh, is all printed on cardstock for you. So we can cut it out and put it together. Okay. And you can fill this with, um, in your bags, I put some styrofoam uh, clovers and coins and some little things. Or if you want, you could put some um, gold coins or gold coin candy that they have. And you could either give this to somebody or keep it yourself for your table. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so you should have two um, pieces of cardstock with these designs on them. And all you're going to do for now is cut the designs out. And you don't have to cut all the four leaf clovers out or um, the three leaves. It depends. if. I only used uh, like five pipe cleaners um, and I used one of the flags. So uh, it's really up to you what you want to do, but you might not have enough pipe cleaners to glue the pieces on except for the ones that I gave you. All right, so let's get started. So when I cut, I don't cut all the way to the edge of the piece. I always leave like a tiny, maybe not even an eighth of an inch um, so that I don't cut into my picture. But like I said, it's your design, so you do what you do. I love corned beef and cabbage and carrots and potatoes, and my family looks forward to it every year. Oh, it's so good. My mouth is watering for it. Okay, so there's my first piece. And I think I'll cut the big circle out. Now this is going to be the base of your hat. Okay. And I'll just cut these out like this because it just makes it easier when I have to cut the little pieces. Okay. And this, I guess, is actually supposed to be a leprechaun that fell into the hat looking for his pot of gold.
so I'm almost done cutting this out. So that's that piece. So I have my base, and this, of course, is going to be my the um, top of the hat. So I'm going to put that on this side. And then I'll cut my, my legs out. One of my favorite movies for St. Patty's Day is um, Garby O'Dill and the Little People with uh, Sean Connery. I usually watch that every St. Patrick's Day. It has all the little leprechauns in it. And sometimes we watch The Quiet Man with John Wayne and I think it's Maureen O'Hara. Those are just some fun movies to watch. So there's my one leg. Now I'll do my other one. Okay, so there's my other leg. So I have those and I think I'll cut the flag out now. And I only used one, one flag, so I'm just gonna cut one out. I don't want it to be that full. Okay, and uh, I kind of cut, I think, one, one of each of these. Let me see. Yes. So I'm going to cut out my clover. I guess a clover really has three, three leaves, and it's when you find a four-leaf clover that they say you're lucky, I think, right? So, oh, and we do have them. It just doesn't have a stem with it, but that's okay. You can glue it right to the pipe cleaner. So there's one clover. And here's my four leaf clover. So we'll cut this one out.
And if you would like to cut um, more than one out, you have all those left over and you're welcome to do that. So there's my clove, my four leaf clover. So I have a regular clover, a four leaf clover, my flag, my legs, and my happy St. Patrick's Day. So I think that's enough for now. Okay, so I finished cutting everything. And now I'm going to take the base of my hat and the outside here that you see. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your edges like this and fold them down just like this, okay? I'm just gonna go like this, just to flatten them out. Okay, so you should have your piece looks like this. So you're gonna take your hat, the center piece, and this, And you're just going to tuck this under like that. So it's like this. You're going to fold it and take this and tuck it under like that. Okay. And then you're going to put glue right along here to close it. So let me do that. I have my glue. Okay, I'm take I'm gonna take this side and Tuck it in like so. And just hold it for a little bit just so that it uh, stays. I have a little piece of cardboard here so I don't get glue on the desk, but maybe you could just push it down like that. So you make sure that it stays together. Okay, so it's it should be taped. I mean, um, glued. I'm sorry. Uh, and then what you're gonna do is with these little. triangles that are sticking out. 
you're just going to put a dot of glue on each one. So each one of my triangles has a dot of glue. I'm going to take my base and try to find, you know, so that it's centered all the way around. I think that should be good. Looks good. And you could take, I have a little stick here. You could take a pencil, anything really, and just push the triangles down. So, so there's your little hat. See it? So just push down a little glue will come out, but that's okay. You're not going to really see it. If your fingers are long enough, you can use your fingers to just make sure that it's glued down. Okay. So I'm going to leave that over there to dry. Now, in your bag, I also gave you a strap like this. It's a buckle strap. And... I cut out for you a little belt buckle. So what you want to do is you want to measure this to cut two squares in here. So uh, let's see if I do this. There we go. Um, you could take a pencil and just kind of draw like one square, the line, so it's in the center. So it's kind of like that, if you can see it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll just use this little stick that I have. I'll use that as my center and I'm just going to draw uh, the squares. I think I should move that over a little bit. going to connect that. And then I'll put Okay, so they don't have to be even or anything like that, just as long as you have two um, squares like that. Now, I have a, um, a short scissor, like a little mini scissor that I'm going to use that's here. And if you have like a, one of those um, razors, 
just started a hole. And just take your time and cut. Because you're not really going to see this except for the outside edges. Okay, so it's you're going to cut a square like that. I'm just going to go in again. Okay. There you go. Now, one is a little bit bigger than the other, but that's all right. So then I'm going to take my belt buckle and I'm going to put one piece in there and go through the other side. So see, it looks like a little belt buckle. There you go. I had the wrong side. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take glue Try to center that. You're going to take some glue and look for your, where your seam is to the where you glued your hat. And you're going to take the belt buckle and you're going to, now my seam is there. So I'm going to put the front of the belt buckle um, directly across from where the seam is. So I will show you. So it's gonna look like that. So this here's the seam where I put the glue and this is the back. So you're just gonna glue that on now. So what I did was I'm going to glue just the first side. My glue doesn't want to come out. There it goes. Okay. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to have to hold it for a while. Not a while, but just until the glue adheres to the paper. Okay, see? And let me see, there's this. So I'm going to want to move this over just a little bit so it's, it's in the front. Okay. The glue on this side. And let's see.
And then you can, if you want, you could go all the way around. I'm just going to cut this. And then just, um, just hold it for a little bit so it'll. So there's our hat. Okay, so now I gave you a little piece of styrofoam. You're gonna stick that in the hat, like so. You don't have to glue it or anything. If you want to, you can, but it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, so you, put, you, you can put this on the side to dry. And now I have my little decorations for inside the. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a pipe cleaner. And just take a pencil like this. And you're going to take and wrap a little bit of the pipe cleaner. So it curls. Like so. Make sure you leave the end straight. You could curl it as much as you want. And you're just going to glue your sign on to the pipe cleaner. Now, let me see, you could decide how high you want them to go. Um, I don't know, let me see if I bend this. It goes there. I think I want it a little longer. So I think I'm gonna do it a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so all you have to do Take a little bit of glue. Put a little bit like that and just stick your pipe cleaner to the glue. Okay. Or, you know, if you have tape, you could even tape it. It doesn't really matter what you use. But you should let it dry. So I'm just going to put that off to the side while I do the rest of them. Shovel up. Just hold it for a little bit just to let the glue set. You might have to put like a lot of glue on to hold down. The, there we go. So I'm going to put that over there. And now I'm going to do the shoes. Now you want the shoes to be opposite each other. Like, let me see, like this. So it looks like it's, they're coming out of the hat. So I want to make them a little shorter than the um, the other pipe cleaners. So I'm just going to use these, and I'm not going to curl these. I'm just 
gonna it's close. There we go. So I'll do one there and one here. And I'm just gonna stick one pipe cleaner here and another pipe cleaner there. And I'll just push it down. And let it sit. Let it dry off a little bit. And then I'm gonna take off the flag. And I think what I'm gonna do is cut this in half. And let me see, it goes green, it goes this way, black, so green, white, red. Sorry, my glue doesn't want to, it's because it's the real sticky kind. All right, so I'm going to put my other pipe cleaner here. Yeah, this needs a lot of glue. Those um, ones that look like foil. If you have a glue gun, you can use a glue gun too. Just don't burn your fingers when you're putting the, uh, holding the glue down. That's why I kind of like these wooden sticks. I'm gonna stick a little bit more glue on top of this. I'm going to let that one. Okay. So now that you have all your stuff, um, your hat put together and all the stuff that goes inside after you dry that, which I am not going to use what I used, I'll take out one of these. 
you're just gonna take your decoration, take your styrofoam and just stick it right in wherever you want to, wherever you want it. And you could bend the pipe cleaners and there you have your favor, like so. And like I said, you could put it on the table. You can fill it with gold coins. You could fill it with chocolate coins. You could give it to somebody, whatever you want to do. But have a happy St. Patrick's Day. If you like corned beef, I hope you enjoy yours. And I will see you on um, Wednesday to do another craft for Makers Week. Okay, thanks. Bye.